Well, tomorrow's a big day for UH football fans. A lot of us who didn't really think the game was going to happen or the season, but tomorrow the Bows kicking off at Fresno State. But for fans, the game day experience will be a little bit different due to the pandemic. Unfortunately, that also means fewer places where you can watch them play. Kimberly Speakman has more on the story this new attend. Frustration. That's what businesses tell me they felt when they found out this week that they wouldn't be able to buy and show the first UH game of the season. After a long pause, the bows are back. But due to COVID-19, the typical game day experience is looking a lot different. That means no tailgating and no fans in stadiums. And if you can't watch it live in person, there's always pay-per-view, but only from your home. I was very disappointed when, when Spectrum said they don't, they're not even going to offer it. And then the fact that they couldn't give me a reason. In a statement, Spectrum says UH games will only be available to residential customers in Hawaii and will not be offered to commercial establishments. This is in accordance to state and county guidelines that discourage large gatherings. But businesses say this could hurt them further. Dave and Busters tells me UH games typically bring in tons of customers. I had probably, if I had to guess, maybe 20, 22 calls asking if we we're going to show the game. Our guests, you know, they, they count on us having the games, and I think they really count on us having them, especially because now they can't go to Lowe's Stadium and watch them. So it's like, okay, next best thing, we're going to go to my, you know, our local hangout, and we're going to have a drink, we're going to watch the games. Don Murphy, owner of Murphy's Bar and Grill, says many restaurants already have rules in place for social distancing, and there can still be a way to show sporting events while preventing large gatherings. Places like us, Restaurants and the majority of them, 95 percent of them, you know, they just have their their social distancing and spread out, and sell it, you know, sell the seats ahead of time and say, sorry, you can't come in, we're full, so you don't get the big crowd coming in. He says purchasing the event to watch at home could also draw large groups. You know, on the flip side, what it does is it forces people to have a bunch of people over to their house, you know, so it's kind of a double-edged sword. Murphy tells me he'll try to speak to Spectrum next week to see if there's a way to show the games. If you want to watch the game at home, it'll cost you about $70. Kimberly Speakman, K2N2 News, working for Hawaii.